So you set up your camera, place your mic, hit record, only to realize your voice sounds like this. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Also, big thanks to Take Tones for sponsoring this video. Right here in the timeline, you can see the clip we're going to process. Oh, and by the way, this is the first time you guys are seeing the studio zoomed out, so now you know it's a fake wall. Step number one, looping the audio. I highly recommend you press the in and out keys on your keyboard to make the selection on your clip you're going to process. Then in the program monitor, make sure you have the loop button toggled on. Now your selection will loop and you don't don't have to pause and go back when processing your audio. This is what my voice sounds like processed. Step 2. Cleaning up. First, find an equalizer in the effects library and drag it on your voiceover clip. Then with that clip selected, go to the effect controls and click on edit to open the effect up. This is the audio spectrum. Here you can see all the frequencies us humans can hear. On the left you will see the low frequencies which is where the deep bass and sub bass sounds live. Then in the middle you'll find the mid frequencies. This is where the power of your voice is. If you have a deeper voice, typically men, your voice may lean more towards the low mids. The high frequencies are on the right and they are making sure your audio sounds clear. Now with this equalizer we can manipulate these frequencies to make your audio sound better. Let's start with enabling the high pass band. This way you can cut away some of the lower sub frequencies because we don't need them and we don't hear them anyway. The fact that we don't hear them doesn't mean they're not there. They actually take up space in your spectrum and they can clash with other frequencies. Which is why we're cutting them out. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Next, we're gonna add some clearance to your voice by increasing the high end. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Processed. That already sounds a lot better. Next, we're gonna cut out a little bit of the lower mids, around 300 hertz. This is usually where annoying resonating sounds can live. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Process. Play around with it until it sounds great. Then slightly boost up the frequencies around 100 Hz. That will give your voice a little bit of power. My voice sounds like processed. This is what my voice sounds like processed. This is what my voice sounds like processed. Now that we're done with EQing, we're gonna find the Dynamics Processing Effect in the Effects Browser. This is an extremely powerful effect which drastically increases the quality of your voice. Now before I'll explain everything about this, I want to show you the impact of what cinematic music can do. This is insane, I actually downloaded this track from Tiktones. On Tiktones, you can download an insane amount of royalty-free premium music tracks that will 100% fit your videos. And the best thing, after signing up for the free plan, you can access the entire library, which is perfect for small YouTube channels. You can also get a one-month trial for each plan after signing up. Now, what I love most about Tiktones is its simplicity. You just select a genre, and if needed, you can use the other filters as well. Once you've found a track you like, all that's left to do is click the download button, then choose WAV or MP3 and boom, there you go. The creator plan is perfect for someone like me or you. Someone who produces content a lot like us and requires a huge library of music. You can download as much as you want, no limits. Of course you can enable monetization and don't worry about copyright claims or anything like that ever. That's because you can take your social media channel to your Take Tones account and that will whitelist the music. This is the safest way to use music in your videos. And that that's why I love Take Tones. If you're working on movies or if you're an advertising agency, they even have a business plan for you, which allows you to use music in your own games, software or radio. Besides music, you can access thousands of awesome sound effects and video templates, which is absolutely incredible. All the music and sound effects used in this video are from Take Tones. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Click the link down below to upgrade your content with Take Tones. Now let's get back to our dynamic processing plugin. This is actually step 3. Dynamic processing is a combination of compression and expansion which controls the volume of your audio. Right here you can see a graph. The x-axis, which is the horizontal one, is the input of your audio that goes into the plugin. The y-axis, the vertical one, is the output or sound that comes out of this plugin. This diagonal line means there's no change. What goes in also goes out. But once you start bending this line, things are gonna change. This is how I do this. First, click to create a point on the bottom left. Then drag down and listen carefully to what's happening. This is what my voice sounds like processed. This is what my voice sounds like 
processed. This is what my voice sounds like processed. As you can hear, the unwanted noise is disappearing. That's because the more you drag this to the right, the more range it will attack. Try and find the sweet spot until you don't hear any noise. Now click to create another band on top. Drag it up a little. This will compress the loud parts of your voice. It reduces the peaks, which pushes or compresses the loud parts. This is what my voice sounds like. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Processed. This is what my voice sounds like. Processed. Next, I like to enable the spline curves. This will smoothen it out and make it look more like an S curve. Now you gotta play around with both points to find the sweet spot between compression and noise reduction. This makes your voiceover sounds balanced and clear. If needed, increase the makeup gain until you're at the desired decibels. Amazing. Now, this is basically a soft compression to make your voice sound even and balanced. But what if you wanna make your voice sound like it's from a podcast? You know those guys who are basically eating their microphone? Well, you can do that by adding an aggressive compression. There's actually a really simple way to achieve this. All you need to do is find the single band compressor in the effects library. Then drag it on your clip and again, go to the effect controls. Then click on edit to open up the plugin. In here, go to the preset menu and on the bottom, find voice thickener. This applies a pretty aggressive compression to your voice. Voice sounds like processed. You can make it even better or worse by increasing the threshold. This means it's gonna compress everything above minus 30. So the more you drag this to the left, the more compression you're gonna get. This is what my voice sounds like, processed. This is what my voice sounds like, processed. If you want me to make a video about compression, let me know down below. I can explain you the ins and outs. Next, you're gonna learn how to create this awesome zombie sound effect. <laughs> It's Call of Duty inspired and completely created in Premiere. So to continue the lesson, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.